bow into it. The captain likes his floor nice and shiny. He, ooh, the wastebasket isn't empty. He'll blame me. Now, come on, move, 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 go. What? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, God! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sir, sir, are you all right? Oh, my leg, my leg. Oh, 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 Captain, oh, Binghamton. Oh, Clampy, what happened? Well, I... Oh, no, he, he tripped. He fell down. Oh, my leg. Get me a carbon. Oh, my leg. My poor old leg. Oh, wait, sir, wait a minute. Oh. Don't touch him. Oh. Like a course in first aid. Now, the first thing you learned is to relieve all external pressure from the injured limb. Here. Oh, my, my, my. How's that feel, sir? Get the other leg, you dodo. Get him away from me. It looks like a pulled tendon or a torn ligament. Now, you call a hospital. The hospital. Tell him to get an ambulance over here right away. We must right. get our, our captain to the hospital. Before you call the hospital, I got a question to ask you, Captain. Oh, what is it now? Why, 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 why? Do you have a hospitalization? <laughs> place for a week. What about the war? Who's going to run the base? Well, sir, your aide, Lieutenant Carpenter, can oh, always... Oh, that ninny, he can't even... <laughs> well, I suppose I'll have to. Where is he, anyway? Where, where, where? He's just he? outside with a couple of other visitors. Uh, you can come in now, Quinn. Thanks, Molly. Hi, Captain. I hope you're feeling better. We just dropped by to see if there, we could do anything to help. Yeah, she'd like to see if there's anything that you could do to help me stay in here longer while you pillage the base. Oh, sir, just look at you. It's heartbreaking. The tiger of Taratupa in dry dock. Well, Chuck and I'll be running along, but don't you worry, sir. We'll keep things running, yes, sir. I know how you think you'll be keeping things running, Mikhail, but just you forget it. Because while I'm in here, I'm putting Carpenter in charge. Carpy? You heard him. Car me, sir? In command? Oh, thank you, Captain. And believe me, I shall maintain your high standard of leadership and do everything in my power to... Oh, shut up. <laughs> so you remember, Mikhail, he is my good right arm. And you keep those cutthroats of yours in line. Oh, well, don't worry about my boys. <laughs> They'll do their job, sir. Yes, sir, you can count on us. Well, now, look, why don't you just lie back and relax? Oh. Here, I'll flip up. Get out of here. I'm... Come on, come on, sir. Bye-bye, Captain. Bye. Oh. 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 Like honorable emperor once say, good things come to those who wait. <laughs> hey, listen, with Binghamton out of the way, we can do anything we want. It's open season. The sky's the limit. Yeah. Hey, fellas, wait a minute. What about the skipper? Won't he get sore? No sweat. Lieutenant Carpenter's taking care of that, too. He called Parker and a skip to a staff meeting. Hey, 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 hey. I tell you, fellas, the lid's off. It's like Chicago in the 20s. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we call the Marines in for a friendly uh, poker game? I'll stop mocking the cards. <laughs> All potatoes. This is our chance for a big killing. Remember Gruber's law of economics? Invest nothing, make a lot. The steel! The steel! Yeah. 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 What are we waiting for? Last one to the vat stirs the mash. We got it. <laughs> so, that is the situation, men. While our fallen leader is in sick bay, I shall take the helm. And I shall steer our base through the stormy waters that lie ahead. Okay, copy, okay. Now, let's uh, go down to the club and have a few beers, huh? Give that man four demerits. Sir. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, come on, come on, knock it off. What was that, Mikhail? What, 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 what? <laughs> Speaking at staff meeting without being recognized? Another two demerits. <laughs> now, hear this. You men will learn that I run a taut ship. I expect the hatches battened, the brass polished, and the bilge is pumped. <laughs> Ensign, do you know what that means? Yes, sir. It means you're drunk with power. I'm <laughs> Watch yourself, Ensign. Gentlemen, that will end our first briefing. Dismiss! Look lively, look lively. Go. Parker, Mikhail. 
Just a minute, you men. I have a very special assignment for you two. Yes, sir. I want a complete inventory of the oil dump. <laughs> the oil dump? Count all those oil drums? Precisely. And you better get started right away if you want to get back my chow time. Ha! Dismissed! I said, Captain, gonna be mad when he sees his desk. Yeah. You better get out of here before Admiral Bly takes away our good conduct medals. <laughs> hey, let's go, workers. Speed it up. The boys in those trenches are waiting. Yeah, the booze has got to get through, in huh? The office, sure, I'm pouring in. Hey, with that patsy cop, they're in charge. We can take over the whole South Pacific. <laughs> yeah. All right, you men, you're surrounded. Oh, Reed! Sayonara! Don't anybody move. You're all under arrest. Come on in, men. Get out of my face, sailor. What's the matter with you? Ah, ah, ah. Was I right? Get a picture of that sailor. Now, wait a minute, Lieutenant Carpenter. I can explain. You wait a minute and hold those. Hey, these are just medical supplies. Oh, knock it off, Gruber. Who are you trying to kid? Sailor? Let's get a profile of the ringleader. Oh, look, that's my bad side. <laughs> All right, now, uh, a volunteer for fingerprints. We need some fingerprints. You're a volunteer. I demand a lawyer. You demand nothing and put your hand down there and have your fingerprints taken. <laughs> Now, we'll just round up all this little evidence, and we shall call this Exhibit A. Ah! <laughs> Don't you smile. Take that smile off your face. And give me those bottles. This will... Don't you touch that. That's Exhibit B. And it's evidence against you. Don't you ever touch something like that. <laughs> now, let's see what else we can find on you boys. <laughs> hey, with all that evidence, we're dead. What are we going to do, Gru? Don't worry about a thing. Leave it to me. Uh, Lieutenant Carpenter, sir, if you please. Get away from that steam. It's wrinkling your suit. I'm sorry, prisoner. But there will be no mercy shown. Don't ask for any. Well, there's no getting around it, sir. You've got us dead to right. But uh, since we're all servicemen, we were wondering if you'd be in the market for a little, say, uh, something under the table. A bribe? What did you have in mind, Gru? Well, since you put it so crudely, say 50 or 75 in cash, plus a bottle of genuine Terratupa bourbon. How much? Well, tell you what. Make it a hundred even and a piece of the action. How does that sound, Lieutenant? I just hope it was loud enough. Loud and clear, sir. <laughs> oh, you have a nice voice, Gruber. And we're going to call that... <laughs> Exhibit C. <laughs> tell you what. Make it a hundred even and a piece of the action. How does that sound, Lieutenant? Oh, play it again, Elroy. Play it again. Sir, you haven't seen the photographs yet. Uh -huh, Here. Okay. Let me see oh, oh, here's one you like, sir. Okay, it. It's a group picture of all of them standing around the still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. This one alone should be good for life, huh? <laughs> sir, the whiskey? Oh, the whiskey, yes, yeah, the whiskey. Fingerprints. Fingerprints. Uh, huh? And, sir, movies in living color. <laughs> <laughs> Sit closer, Elroy. Oh, thank you, Sit sir. Sit closer, boy. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to get out of here Saturday morning. We'll set the court martial for Saturday afternoon. Oh, what a wonderful get well present. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got them this time, sir. We've really done it this time. Yes, we really. <clears throat> what do you mean, we? Who is we? What we? <laughs> Sir, after all, I was, I, oh, oh no, sir, no, sir, no, sir, I, I didn't mean we, sir. It was you, sir. It was all your idea. Yes, sir. Now, don't you forget that. You're just following my orders. Now, don't get pushy, Carpenter. I'm still in command here. Now, get off of the bed. What are you doing sitting on the bed, anyway? What's I'm the matter? sorry, sir. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. Of course you're in command, sir. After all, I'm just a lowly lieutenant. Now, don't forget it. Now, give me my pictures. Get out of here. Yes, sir, here you Go are, on sir. over and tidy up the office. Yes, sir, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to be pushy, really. Oh, shut up. <sighs> if I could only see the look on Mikhail's face now. Oh, you guys. Why didn't you just go out and stick your heads in a noose? With all the evidence against you, you're going to have to have a, a Clarence Darrow as a lawyer just to get a life sentence. Uh, life? I'll never live that long. Now you can say that again. My back is killing me. Oh, that's terrible, making you guys work with picks and shovels. But, of course, you are learning a trade path for the war. Oh, he's soft, Chuck. This is a rough spot. Uh, that creep carpet is trying to out Binghamton Binghamton. Yeah, he probably figures this court marshal is going to get him a promotion. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. All right, all right. Hold it. Can't you see I'm trying to think, you guys? Promotion. Hey, that's it. Oh, Quint, Chuck, 
Did you see the new director from Acting Commander Carpenter? He's having a staff meeting in 15 minutes. Another one? What about the inspection he ordered? And the inventory? And what about that practice alert he scheduled? Boy, that Carpenter sure is an eager beaver. Boy, I'll say, if you ask me, I think he's taken advantage of Binghamton's accident to make a name for himself. Go on, Quinn. It's time to take our temperatures. I don't want my temperature taken. What is all this about Carpenter? Now, now, no talking. I tell you, Captain, you certainly made a wise choice putting Lieutenant Carpenter in charge. Why, he's the talk of the whole base. Such efficiency. And so bright and inspiring. What about me? I'm bright and inspiring. At least I was till this of stupid thing. Of course you are. I guess it's just the idea of having new blood in charge. You know, youth and all that. You remember. You remember. What do you mean, youth? I'm only 41. And he's only 31. Oh, dear. You're running a temperature. You just lie back there and relax. Relax. Cook and relax at a time like this. <laughs> well, I'll be by to check that supply depot again. And this time, my friend, it better be neat. Do you hear me? Neat, neat, neat. Oh, what is it, Mikhail? Wah, 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 wah. Oh, well, uh... Well, we've just been by to see the captain, sir, and I, 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 I hate to worry you, but... Oh, he's feeling kind of low. Captain Binghamton? Uh -huh. Low? Mm -hmm. well, what's wrong? Well, I've been so busy here, I haven't been able to get over to the hospital. He's feeling pretty depressed. In fact, he's even thinking of, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we figured that if we, if we brought over a few of his personal belongings, you know, like uh, the ship's clock or a few pictures, you know, anything to make him sort of feel at home. <laughs> oh, that's a splendid idea. You fellas gather it all up, and then we'll all go over to the hospital together. Hey, you, sir? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, well, you, you, do you think you should leave headquarters after, after all, you're in command here? What, what if there was an emergency or something? Yeah, suppose there's an air raid. Or suppose somebody's mother calls. <laughs> I think maybe you're right, Mikhail. I'd better not leave my post. Hi, Captain. We just brought over a few of your things from the office. <laughs> Those are my citations, my ship's clock. I'll ask you to bring them over here. Oh, uh, uh, Acting Commander Carpenter, sir. It was an order. Uh, well, what did he say against Kip? Oh, sure. Forget it, Chuck. Forget it. It's nothing. What did Carpenter say? What did he say? Why, 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 why? Oh, well, it was really nothing, sir. Nothing I had besides. Why aggravate yourself? <laughs> Mikhail, I want to know what he said. I want to know what he said right now. It's an order. Well, if you insist, Captain. Uh, well, he said, um, get the old man's junk out of here. <laughs> old man. Junk? How dare he take those things out of my office? I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Oh, boy, he, he's out inspecting, sir. Oh, he's driving us crazy with all that spit and polish, and... Oh, please, sir, get well, please. I don't understand it. You know, it's almost as though he were bucking for promotion. Now, Chuck, you and your rumors. <laughs> Why, no, no. You never have to worry about uh, acting Commander Carpenter, sir. Remember, he's your protege. Chuck... Chuck, we forgot the flowers. Oh, the flowers, yeah. Uh, they're both Lieutenant Carpenter. Pick them himself. Sir. Uh, how are you this <laughs> And I think I was beginning to suspect the boy. <laughs> you know, I almost thought there for a minute that he tried to trip me on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that behind? Half a year. That's <laughs> Goldenrod. Goldenrod? He knows I'm allergic to goldenrod. <laughs> I, it, it couldn't have been intentional, sir. At least I don't think it was. Here, let me get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll back up. <clears throat> well, we better be on our way, Captain. Where are you running off to now, Mikhail? Oh, we have to get back to headquarters. Carpenter wants us to scratch your name off the door. Oh, my God, thank you. Well, that sneaky little rat. Oh, hi, Captain. Have I got news for you? I've got news for you, too, you ambitious punk. Me stripping my office, sending me goldenrod. You're greatest. Oh. Goldenrod? But, but, sir, I don't understand. I don't know what you're uh, talking about. No, no, no. You better get out of here, sir, because uh, you see that the, the cabin's in no mood for visitors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like uh, uh, can get violent, boy. Stop. Stop that, Arnold! He doesn't even remember your name. Come on! <laughs> 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 
Oh, but, but I don't understand. Oh, I don't understand. I, I just wanted to tell him that Admiral Rogers is arriving this afternoon for an inspection. Admiral Rogers is, is coming here? Yes, that's right. And I thought the captain should be the first to know. Oh, well, 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 yes. well we're, we're, we've tell him, won't we, Chuck? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, just as soon as he's finished with his fit. <laughs> Now, you must have an awful lot of work to do at headquarters. And with the Admiral coming, I... Oh, I have you know I have. Thank you. And you'll be sure to tell him. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, yes, sir. Thank right. you. Oh, oh, the rotten luck. The Admiral's coming here. If he finds out about the court-martial and sees that evidence, the boys have had it. Yeah, well, I'll go along with that. Well, what are we going to do, Skip? Well, some way, somehow, we got to get that court-martial over with before the Admiral gets here. Hey, that's a great idea. Uh, uh, how would you go about doing that? Well, maybe we can get Coppin to reschedule it for this afternoon. Oh, without Tom Binghamton? Oh, boy, he'd blow his top, Skip. Yeah. That's exactly what I had in mind. Come on. <laughs> What gives? We just heard that our court martial's been moved up to this afternoon. That's right, boys. And believe me, you don't know the trouble we went through to get a change. You mean you're the guys that got us switched? Thanks a lot. They'll hang us. Nah, nah, nah. Don't try to figure it out, boys. Chuck and I got a lot of work to do, but we just don't want you to worry about a thing, okay? Come on, Chuck, let's go. Uh... I beg your pardon, sir, but uh, we're conducting a, a, a base inventory. <laughs> base inventory? I didn't ask for any base inventory. Oh, well, it's Commander Coppner's order, sir. Yes, sir. You see, uh... oh, incidentally, sir, how, how many blankets are you using? Well, I've been using two on these chilly nights. Two? But I don't see what the... Oh, I'm sorry, sir. But you see, one is all that you're allowed. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, you see, it's, it's, it's Commander Koppner's new economy program. <laughs> Commander, my foot. I am sick and tired of that tyrant. Now you give me my blanket. Now, where is he? Where, 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 where? Oh, no, 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 sir. You, your nerves are... Don't get upset. Hey, 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 let me... Let me turn out some music. And relieve your tensions. Yes, sir. <laughs> It's 12 o'clock, and time for the Armed Forces Radio News. I don't want any news. I want to go... There's late word in from Terra 2. Rumor has it that there's a high-level personnel shake-up in the making. <laughs> personnel shake-up? What's he talking about? Acting Commander Carpenter has submitted a plan to conflict for a Scrape the Barnacles program. Carpenter plans to retire all elderly, that's elderly, naval officers, and replace them with young men like himself. <laughs> retire? Elderly? I'm only in my mid-thirties. Oh, but, sir, uh, Carpenter's only in his twenties. <laughs> he is not that liar. He's over 31. The youthful Carpenter, barely out of his teens, took over command from the aging, ailing Captain Binghamton. That's aging and ailing... That does it! <laughs> Your legs are... Here! Nurse! 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 Did you hear that? Did you hear him? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh. Oh, that double-crosser, that carpenter. Oh, I trusted that man, and he turned on me. Yes, yeah, well, but don't worry, sir. It's going to be all right. Uh, of course, everything's going to be all right. Now, yes. you just get some shut-off. Yes, sir. Uh, Bye-bye, Captain. Oh, that carpenter. That skunk. <sighs> carpenter. Carpenter taking over. So... <laughs> Mr. Bingham Dunn, old man, come here. Hurry up with that. Oh, oh, please, Admiral Carpenter, please show me some mercy. I've scraped the barnacles. I've waxed the mizzen mast. I even vacuumed the poop deck. Complaining, are you? Just for that? I'm cutting off your water ration. Not my water. Not my water, sir. I need my water. I'm parched. I'm parched. Water. Water. Water? I shall give you some water, you slimy bilge rat. There. Take some. <laughs> sir. Sir. Wake up. Wake up. Stella. Oh, Admiral Carpenter. Admiral Carpenter, mercy. 
Where am I? I'm a cow. I'm a Parker. Yes, sir. We heard you yelling. You must have been having a nightmare. Uh, yeah. Be more accurate, a daymare. Oh, so <laughs> a carpenter was trying to drown me. You know, oh. I was drowning. You can see why I'm all wet. But we just came by to to say goodbye. And maybe we'll see you after the war, huh? Oh, yeah. After the war? What are you talking about? How long have I been asleep? Well, well you see, after the boys get court-martialed today, well, Skip and I'll probably be shipped out. Well, there's no court-martial today. The court-martial is not till Saturday. Didn't he tell you, sir? Why, he switched it to this afternoon. Hey, what? He switched without asking me? Well, I guess he figured that with the Admiral coming to discuss your retirement. <laughs> oh, the Admiral's going to discuss the Admiral's going to... What retirement? I'm not retiring. Oh, well, we heard you were, sir, right after the court-martial. Oh, you did, huh? Is that what you heard? Well, that does it. Help me out of here. Uh, we will wheelchair. 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 Get that thing. There we go. Oh, that phony carpenter yes. trying to drown me. Yeah. Can yeah. me carry a big yes. anchor? Yes, yes. Come on, right this way, Chuck. Here we go. Come Captain Binghamton. Ah, surprised to see me, aren't you? Huh? Oh, sir, you're up. You're out of bed. Yes, no thanks to you, you power-hungry maniac. You <laughs> yes, try to do me in with a mop handle. Don't forget the golden rod. What? Oh, that's the golden rod. That's a very deceitful, treacherous act you try to pull, grabbing my job like that. Take it easy, sir. Oh, take, take it easy. easy. Himself, sir. He, he's overworked. Oh, I'll vouch for that, sir. The captain's tired. He needs a long rest, sir. Oh, don't you listen to him, Admiral. He's a traitor. What? Just look at me, Admiral. I am just as good as new, sir, and I am barely past 30. I'm just like a spring chicken. Look at that. There's a lot of good years left to me yet, Admiral. I'll put you out the pasture. He slipped. He didn't fall on his leg. He fell on his head. There, 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 Captain. Uh, come along now, sir. Uh, hey, uh, just sit right down here. Yes, that's it. Sure. Oh. That's right, Captain. Everything's going right. to be all right. You have nothing to worry about, Walter. Oh, thank you, Admiral. It's so good to be among friends again, sir. But, Admiral, keep your eye on him, Admiral. He's a rat. He's a real rat. He tried to steal my blanket, and he sent me golden rod, and he going to push me in the water, then he faked a phony court martial. Yeah, well, you forget the court martial. You forget everything, yeah. Wally. You need a long rest. So long, Wally. Enjoy your dance. <laughs> there goes the court martial. All my hard work right down the drain. Yeah, well, that's the way the ball bounces. So, shall we all go down to the brig and let out the prisoners? Oh, I, I, I... It's okay, Carpy. You can say it. I could just scream. <laughs> Come on, Carpy, let's go. Ah, ah, Carpenter. Sir! Thank you, Sparta, over there. You forgot that. What kind of an orderly are you? I'm sorry, sir. I'm away sorry. for a week, and the place looks like a stable. Just yes, think of that. Welcome home, sir. Ah, hope you had a nice leave. Okay, now what is the idea of barging in here without knocking? Now you'll just go over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, easy, doesn't easy. Carpet, carpet. Go get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get it out And this time, could I be acting commander? Get <laughs> out <laughs> sir. What did you say, Skip? Translated, it means run for your life. Go, man, go. <laughs> Why is it me? Why is it always me? <laughs> <laughs> 